Hey everyone, it's Jeff Salzenstein here, and if you watch the entire video today, you are going to see an amazing story, an amazing transformation, and some amazing video footage of a student that I've been working with for about six months now. But first, I want to thank all of you for the incredible comments that I received on the blog, on YouTube, on Facebook, about my last post about Roger Federer. Now, I gave you the five reasons why I don't think he will be number one again, and some of you weren't too happy with what I had to say or didn't agree with what I had to say. Well, I want you to go back and possibly look at that video again because there were a lot of compliments sprinkled in there, and uh, I think if you ask Roger right now, he would probably say, you know, I have no interest in being number one. I want to win more Grand Slams, but I don't want to be number one. So, again, thanks to all of you for the comments. I love the exchanges back and forth, and we're all going to learn together. So now to today's video, today's amazing video that's going to talk about a very, almost a heartwarming story for me at least. Uh, as a coach, I get a chance to work with some amazing kids, and this guy is one of my favorites. He is in a program called Net Results, and Net Results is a program in Denver that helps people or helps young kids, uh, at-risk youth, uh, stay off the streets and using tennis as a tool to have a better life. And I got hooked up with Javier because he called me and wanted help with his tennis. And he was the one person that had the guts and the courage to reach out to me and call me and ask for help. The one, the one kid that just really wanted to make a difference with his tennis. So I took him on as a student and it's been a remarkable journey with Javier and I want to thank him for for being my student. He's an amazing kid and he has completely transformed his serve. I met him back in August. We've got the video footage uh, that you're looking at. You can see this video footage of him hitting, uh, well, he doesn't have a serve. I mean, he, the wrong grip, the wrong motion, the wrong coordination. And on that first day back in August, I'm showing him exactly how to move the racket, swing the racket. And you can see how awkward and uncoordinated he is as he's doing this. Well, guess what we did? We went to work but we did a very unconventional type of training. And in that training, we actually trained in a basement the entire winter. And we didn't do it seven days a week. We didn't do it five days a week. We didn't do it three days a week. One day a week, he would come to me for one hour and we would shadow stroke and we would hold positions. And he probably hit about 150 balls the entire winter with his serve because he can't afford indoor courts. We couldn't get indoor courts to hit on. And frankly, this worked better because Javier has been playing tennis for seven years and he is serving incorrectly, or did serve incorrectly. Seven years of the wrong muscle memory. So we completely revamped it, revamped it. Not many kids would do this. Not many people would have the courage to make this type of change. And I commend Javier for doing this. We went to work once a week. I gave him his homework where he did shadow strokes and he, did, he held his positions that I taught him. And he probably spent a total of an hour a week on his own time, maybe five to 10 minutes a day. And he came to me for one hour. So over the course of four months during this winter, about 16 sessions plus eight hours of his own time, in 24 hours, he has completely changed his serve. Now, it's not exactly where we want it to be yet, but he is gonna get there because he is focused and he's practicing and he understands the concepts now. He is really excited about his new serve. You can see it in the, in the, the videos that we're showing you here, the transformation. Yes, he's gotta work on his off arm. Yes, he has to work on his toss a little bit, but we've got the shoulder turn going. We've got the weight transfer going. He understands how to hit natural topspin and kick. And I can only imagine how it's gonna be in six months from now when he gets ready for his high school season. So once again, I just want to thank Javier for being my student. He is a joy to work with. I'm having a great time with him, and it makes my coaching experience very memorable. Now, here's what I want you to do. Of course, I want you to watch the video, and you've been watching it. Thank you for doing that. But I want you to leave a comment. Tell me what you think of his serve, how it's changed. If you have questions about how we went about doing this, I'll do my best to answer them. But really, it's a, it's a revolutionary concept, what we've done. We've changed his serve in four months just by making these shadow strokes and giving him his homework and, and doing and holding the positions that I've taught him. So go ahead and leave a comment. Go ahead and try out some of the stuff. Maybe you're learning some things by watching this video. Go ahead and try it out on your own. Get back to me. Let me know what you think. And uh, I really, really hope that you enjoy this video because uh, it's meant a lot to me to work with Javier. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks a lot.